Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, just got back from uh, Dino Joe's. I had uh, 11 saws ran on the dyno, and then uh, I picked up a part saw or a basket case saw and a, uh, one of his project saws there off him, which we'll I'll show on the channel later on. Um, but uh, so yeah, and uh, I'll have some future videos. Uh, coming up on uh, what these things did and all that uh, I'll probably bust it up into a few different uh, videos on it and stuff because there's just such a large there's a large area of topics I want to cover on what some of these did and uh, how they were built and uh, what their intended purposes and all that stuff are so but uh, no I just thought I'd uh, put this uh, little video together uh to sh let you know that uh what happened today so yep so we re-ran this one on the dyno again i'm still not happy nor impressed with it uh i'm waiting on two more cylinders to come in hopefully i can get this thing squared around where i'm somewhat happy with it uh I don't know if it's this El Cheapo cylinder or if it's just a particular set of numbers I chose uh, for that. Because this one is at 100, uh, 122, and 176. So, tis what it is. Uh, the other ones didn't do too too bad. Some I didn't see as good as gains as I would have liked. The other ones saw more gains than I thought I would get. So, but... Uh, probably the first the first video that uh we will do was the first one we ran on the dyno and that was uh indiana doug's uh concept saw that i did for him it's a reed fed 7900 so this will be the first the first video uh that we talk about and do and show the numbers and and so on and so forth so but uh all right i'm gonna i got a lot of stuff to carry in so i'm gonna let you guys I'll call it quit here for this this video and uh i will work on getting uh video done for this up uh hopefully later today you guys take it easy and have a good one